What's up, Phaser? Goard Gamer back for you guys another gameplay commentary. Uh, the gameplay in the background is a little unorthodox, I would say, because I'm using a Mac 11 with a silencer, which is pretty bad. But it's part of my Creative Class Challenge series that I do on my channel, and I thought I'd upload the second one. Oh, nice, nice fail grenade throw. Nice one, Dean. <laughs> but uh, the yeah, this is the second one that I'm supposed to do, and I just decided I was gonna put it, put it on this channel because it's uh. It's pretty a uh, different gameplay, but it's kind of impressive because it's a uh, it's uh, a different class setup. And if you want to see the full class up class setup, I think you can pause it at the beginning, and it should show it there. Uh, but this commentary is not going to be about the gameplay. Uh, I'm going to make it about the tips and mistakes you can make on YouTube, and how to avoid mistakes, and how to put the tips to effect in in the best way you can. Uh, so let's start off with the tips that I have down. Uh, to start off, I have be original with your videos. Make your own ideas, don't copy off anyone else. Cough, cough, raw instinct. Um, yeah, so when you make a video, just try to make it like make it original. Make it make it your own idea. Make it something that you think uh, a lot of people will like or your subscribers will like. And hopefully, if they give you guys a good rating or a good response to it, you can make a follow up to it or a series of it, whatever you guys want to do. But uh, that's tip number one. I, I think that's kind of a big one because people always look obviously look at the video before they subscribe. So that's the, the biggest one out of all of them. Uh, another one is be active. Set a schedule for uploading videos and tell your subscribers what it is so they don't get mad at you for not uploading. This tip is important because then people don't want to subscribe to people that only put up a video maybe once a uh, once every week and a half or once every two weeks because then they'll just get bored and they'll unsubscribe. Haha, <laughs> pay attention behind you. Get stuck. But uh <laughs> but um yeah. Being active is a huge, huge part of being on um, being YouTube. I mean if you look at someone like Syndicate, he uploads I think five or six videos a day. I mean that's a that's you don't have to do that, but that's a lot. And I think he's got like a fast internet and two computers and stuff like that, so he has the ability to do that, which is great. I mean if you could do it yourself, by all means go ahead, but <clears throat> but uh, start off with maybe one or two videos every couple of days or whatever. Just take it slow because you, you want to make sure your videos are good before you put them out and make sure they're not something that was just just quickly thrown together and something random. You want to make sure it's good content that your subscribers will like. So that's another good one. Uh, this is kind of an obvious one, but it's make your content free of copyright. Uh, I'm sure most people know that, but I, actually a lot of people don't know it, about it with the audio because if they try to put a song in or something, then they're going to think, oh, I could just throw this song in there. It won't mean anything. But you, you can get flagged for that. Number one, it'll block the, block the video everywhere. Um, and number two, you I don't know if you get fined. I don't know how that all the finding and stuff works. But if I think they have to, the owner of the video would have to choose that situation. It would be up to them. But, um, yeah, that's a, a pretty simple one. Um, I like this one a lot because it, this is the next one. But, uh, yeah, it's you make a promise, keep it. If you and another person make a deal for something like a dual com, then keep that promise. Not keeping a promise could get you hate. It can get because then if someone else wants to do it with you, and then that person that you kind of screwed over, if they tell them not to because of the history that you guys had, then it just it all goes downhill from there. That's that's not a good thing to have uh, on your resume is is hate from being a I guess a a liar. I guess <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But I'm not promise keeper. Let's call it that. Uh, yeah, like dual comms. I guess are one of the the biggest examples. I mean, like if you're gonna give someone, I don't know why you would, but give someone a shout out, give someone a, uh, I don't know, an idea to a video. Just promise. If you're gonna keep a promise, if you're gonna say, all right, I promise to do this, or I'm gonna do it, then then do it. Don't definitely don't ignore them, because that'll just get people even more pissed off, and it's not good. Uh, to the next one, next one. Uh, this is kind of a big one. It's if you can make your videos HD, plain and simple. I mean, what I use, I have an HD, and I have a Hophog HD PVR, and it works great. It's a two hundred dollar device, but I actually ended up getting it for one forty on eBay, which is a kind of a steal. I got sixty bucks off, so it's, it's obviously better. And it wasn't broken or anything. It works fine. Uh. If, if you have the money to invest in something like that, then I definitely suggest it. If you're thinking about getting serious in YouTube and trying to get known out there, then I definitely, definitely, definitely suggest going 
and getting getting yourself uh, an HD recorder. I think the other one is called a Blackmagic Intensity Pro. I don't know how much that one is. I didn't really do much research on it. But before I got to PVR, I did a lot of research on it. I made sure I knew what I was getting, knew what I was going to get out of it, the quality, and I, that's what everyone uses, all the big gamers. So I figured I'll just stick with that. Uh, and the last that I have down here is know what you're talking about in your commentaries. It's actually funny because someone commented on, uh, I think my casual com or no no it was it was on my first one on, on the phaser and he said he said good commentary but uh just a quick constructive criticism in the, at the end of your commentaries just like try to talk about something because it sounds like you don't don't know what you're talking about and which I, I actually get that I actually listen to it I listened to it again and yeah it didn't, didn't make any sense but uh I like construction blah, 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 constructive criticism a lot because it'll make sure I'll make sure I don't do the mistake again or something like that but yeah, that helps me out a lot. So if you guys have any some anything like that, uh, let me know. I'll definitely uh, listen to it. Uh, yeah, I might not have covered all the tips, but um, yeah, those are the ones I have that I think are most most important. There might be more. I'm not sure. You guys, you guys can comment down low if you have any some other tips that I've missed. Um, let's go on to the mistakes here. This is kind of a big big thing that's been going on in the past couple of days in YouTube. Um. Stealing ideas and blatantly copying them into your videos is a huge no-no. Cough, cough, raw instinct. Um, stealing videos is copying videos, and copying videos is bullshit, and bullshit is more bullshit. So, yeah, that's plain and simple. But um, stealing content is is no uh, is it's not something you should definitely not something you should do. Come up with your own idea. I explained this in the tip, the first tip I actually gave out. So it kind of transfers over to mistakes. Don't steal anyone else's content. Don't copy a series. Make it your own. Make it, make it something simple. But something like, I guess what I do is just put good gameplays out and then put a commentary over it and tell like a, a topic about it. That's not stealing an idea. That's that's like what almost a lot of people do. But I have to probably think of making a few series so it'll get a notice and people will, like, will come back for the series because that's what a lot of uh, viewers like to see is consistency in a, a certain type of video. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, don't be a money whore. Don't try to make money off every little thing you do, and don't expect to either as well. Cough, cough, raw instinct. Um, so, yeah, definitely, uh, you're not going to get paid for anything, not that I know of, until you get, I think, I think it's until you get partnered to YouTube, and then it all goes by views and ads and stuff like that I'm not fully sure but don't expect to get paid on every little video you do when you're a small youtuber or something like that but when you're a big youtuber they do get paid a lot it's actually quite a bit of money people don't realize how much they get paid but they get paid a lot uh what's another one make sure your titles are your own and not similar to someone else's cough cough raw instinct yeah um don't don't copy someone else's title it's if you copy someone else's title, that's just stupid. Like, you're you're setting yourself up for a flag and for someone to give you hate. You might as well just if you're gonna. I'm not suggesting to. You, I'm like, why would you st steal something and then put a title on your video so that's if someone sees it, then they're gonna flag you down. That's like that's like robbing someone and then like putting tracks in where your house is. It's it's not the. Well, why would you do that? It doesn't make sense. So yeah, just come up with your own titles. Be creative with it. Uh, they could be long, short, whatever you guys want. That's what she said, I guess. <laughs> but uh, uh, another kind of big one is don't hate. Actually, no, this is a big one if you think about it. Definitely, definitely don't hate. Give constructive criticism. You don't have to dislike the video. If you, I mean, you can if you want, but I'm saying like, don't leave like a nasty comment being rude or whatever. Just if you're gonna don't like a video and you want something to be fixed, just just give them a constructive criticism comment, and they will. I'm sure they'll look at it and then put it into effect. Which is uh very good. And the last one I have is don't be all talk and don't and not deliver. Like don't don't say you're gonna do something like and then not do it. I guess that's like goes along with the promise thing. But I mean like I mean don't say you're oh don't say to your subscribers, okay, I'm gonna do this video, I'm definitely gonna do it, and then not uh deliver it to your uh to your subscribers. Cough cough, uh wrong thing. Um Yeah, so those are the tips and mistakes that I came up with. Um, if you guys have any more tips or whatever that you guys think I missed, uh, 
please comment down down low because uh, I would love to know because then I could, uh, I guess, tweet it out or something so everyone can see it. I'll, I'll find a way to make sure people know. But um, yes, this gameplay is coming to an end. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to comment what you guys think about it. And I have another video on my channel for Raw Instinct about the, the video, the whole dilemma thing. So if you guys want to see that, I did a My Thoughts video so you can check that out. I'll see you guys later.